Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Upsail Pirate. Uh, this one is going to be a clip after this, which will have video, and then the rest of it will be a slideshow with pictures. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to video because GoPros are in Connecticut, uh, so I couldn't uh, couldn't film it because of the water in the bilge. Uh, didn't have time to try to get it all out. So instead of risking my camcorder, I decided to just do photos uh, and also had lighting issues, of course. But uh, in the bilge, it's dark. Um, so... Long story short, uh, I pulled out the mast step. Uh, it was a wooden block. It was a four by six or four by eight by three and a quarter tall, and it's it goes between the floor and the uh, support pole for the mast, uh, which is underneath the mast. But this pole runs up to the bottom of the mast, and then you got the the mount. I think the foot or something like that. And it sits on there. But anyway, the wood block had rotted out. This is a 1977 Pearson 35. So. Be what it may, I don't know if that's the original block, but it's probably safe to say it was, and I don't know if it was teak wood or what. I have no idea what kind of wood it was. Um, but it was so wet and, and rotted out, uh, and it was actually encased inside of a fiberglass box, which you'll see in the kitchen sink here in a minute, but uh, or the galley, excuse me. But um, anyway, so uh, I drilled three holes to take a look, see what I had inside, and I realized how mushy it was, so uh, I cut the cut clean across it. Once I got all that out and the wood out, which was more like um, a rotted tree, if you want to say that. But uh, once I got all that cleaned out and got the floor, I took a grinder, uh, which I'd recommend a mask. But uh, uh, I ground up all the fiberglass where I'd cut because I had to get rid of that lip so I could get the new block in. Now you'll notice I used a um, plastics block. Uh, it's, it's a step up from uh, polyurethane. Believe it or not, that block only cost me 20 bucks. So what I would recommend is find a local plastics company, uh, you know, that would charge anywhere from 20 to 60 dollars to make you a block. Um, I priced companies all across the U.S. Uh, for you know two to 400 dollars, and it was BS. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't go that route. Uh, there are companies out there you can do it. There's one here in Myrtle Beach. I forget the name of it, but if you need it, they can ship it. Long story short, what makes it so cheap? is they cut it in sheets and they, they stack those sheets with a special adhesive and uh, I had uh, a bunch of one inch sheets and then I had a like a quarter inch or eighth inch uh, sheet to make it that um, uh, three and a quarter inch tall but it was a four by eight block and I had to use a big rubber mallet to uh, smack it in there and uh, it was it was tight going in but you want it to be tight Now I had to use a grinder several times to get it cut down because it was a, just over a three and a quarter. Uh, I made it a little thicker just for the fact that I wanted to make sure that I had, I, it's better to have more than not enough because if you put the block in there and it's loose then you're, you know, yeah, you're screwed until the mask comes back on but you don't want structural integrity issues with the roof which is what I had being that my wooden block had collapsed. So for me, I got it in there, everything, the roof is back up where it should be, uh, the bathroom walls are, have a little bit of a gap, but it's it's not much to really worry about, um, but uh, everything's in place where it should be, uh, the support's there, and uh, everything looks good in the bilge, uh, and you'll also notice uh, the diesel engine, and I put, you know, I'm breaking that down, getting ready to rebuild that, it's a one liter Westerby, uh three cylinder, uh, I'm going to be putting that in hopefully by April, and I got mass steps, uh, that I put all the way up to the spreaders. I'm not too worried about going all the way up because these steps are 18 bucks a piece plus tax and shipping. And uh, really critically, I think the, the spreaders are as far as I need to go. If I need to go to the top for anything, the only thing I got is an anchor light and a freaking radio antenna. And somebody can winch me up there in the Boseman's chair. So I am not worried about, uh, you know, doing all this work to put all these steps. I mean, it's a lot of steps. I think I put uh, 12 or 14 steps or something like that just going to the spreaders. And that was 18 inches apart, which I think is the magic number anyway. Uh, at least Dick Martin says that. But um, anyway, so that's done. Um, I, I rewired the mast. Um, and all I'm waiting on now is uh, I got to get my shipment of LED lights. I'm getting an anchor light. I want to put that on before I remast uh, the boat. And uh, I can worry about the steam and light and you know, spreader lights later when I climb up. But uh, the goal is to get it back on and then start the engine rebuild, uh, which is relatively in good shape. I might have to do some machine work, but I, I think I'm going to pretty well have it. So I'll leave you with that. Hope you enjoy, and uh, thanks for sticking with me through this uh, first season. I'm 
waiting around here for something to come undone now I can't believe you're still here I won't let life drag me down well I've seen some hard times seems everything it likes to bring you down but I keep my feet on the ground well, I won't let life drag me down Someone once told me life is hard Just don't let it kick you around You have to fight for what you want And don't let it get you down Get you Someone once told me life is hard Just don't let it kick you around You have to fight for what you want And don't let it get you